And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Milwaukee Brewers taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Noah Syndergaard. What do we need to know here about the right hand? Well, he tried to make it through the fifth inning last time out, but the pitch count just got too high. He ended up taking the loss. That's one of those you just have to shake it off, come back out today, and try to throw a jib. All right, ready to get underway. Up now for Milwaukee, Christian Yelich. Christian Yelich. Why to kick the pitch? Now a screamer into the outfield. Marsh racing over to make the catch. Batting second, the designated hitter, Sal. And now the Freeland. DH, Sal Fraley. In the air, out towards left center. Puts the squeeze on that one, and there's two down. Batting two outs, third. base is empty. The first and the batter is now 17. is Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins. Next offering is down low, and that is ball one. Two outs. Hoskins pushes it foul. The pitch. Popped up left side. Boom. On his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Brewers go down quietly. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. It's major league. Bottom of the first. And towing the slab here, Brandon Woodruff. Chris is up three ERA for him a year ago. Well, when your numbers are coming in under three as a starting pitcher that's going out there every fourth or fifth day, taking the ball, competing against really good big league hitters, it's extremely impressive. And you wonder what he figured out last year that he can carry into this season that can help him to maintain that number or even drop it lower. We'll see, but we know he's got good stuff, and he should be really good in this one today. Next pitch is inside, and that's ball three. And now three and one. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Probably tried to. right there and just missed his spot hitter didn't offer at it now he has somebody to worry about over at first Alec Bohm takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now line drive and that's a base hit just kind of slice that one into center lead runner to second so two on and nobody out Hitting is really easy for some that guys. One thing that I can see the already, right his bat stays right. in the zone on plane Harper. for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. The 1-1. One, one. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Next offering is foul back. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Next offering misses, full count now. 
Segura, the lead runner out at second. Boom. Out at first with nobody out. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. And that'll load the bases. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since cool. day one. Kyle Schwarber in the box Kyle. here. Let's that one go for a ball. Schwarber. Next offering is in for a strike. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Bases loaded, nobody out. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Huge strikeout there. Way out in front of that inside pitch there. And just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two-strike approach. The 2-0 is in for a strike. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Next pitch misses inside, and that's ball three. Right into the plate. In the air, right field. Renfro coming in on it, and he makes the grab. And there's two down. Batting six. The center field. Brandon Marsh steps Brandon. to the plate. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Next pitch has popped up. Peterson under it. Makes the catch. And that'll do it. Phillies leave him loaded. Scoreless after one. He thought he was going to be able to do more with that pitch. A run score. Back here in Philadelphia, all set for the start of the inning. Now the Brewers cleanup hitter, William Contreras. William Contreras. And the pitch. Ball one there. At a swing and a line drive at a right field. Makes the grab one down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all good. over it, but sometimes right you hit it too hard one. and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. So up next, Hunter Renfro. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. First offering misses the mark. No score here in the second. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Marsh has this one sized up, and he makes the catch. And there's two away. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get that through these it. first two innings with the under 20 stop. pitches. Really. That could set him up to go deep into this game. In the air, right field. Harper should have this one. And that is the third out of the inning. Three up, three down. Bottom of the second. And here's the first baseman, Nick Castellanos. For the Phillies, the first baseman. Hit hard Nick. on the ground is short. Castellanos. Throw puts him off the bag, and he's safe. Here's Yairo Munoz. That's it, that Yairo. one's in there, 0 1. He needs a quick 1 2 3 this time around. Last yep. inning for a lot of pitches. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy. A little Adamas racing over to make the catch. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the last. Because the pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strengths. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. 
On the ground to first. Could be two. To second. Pulls him off the back. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Didn't look to me like he got a great handle on the ball as it came out of his hand. Cole Knight's not really fun to play in, and it makes it tough to hit as well. Makes it tough to throw, and might have played a factor right there. Gene Segura at the plate here. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. Swing and a miss. Throw to third. Two lane. Save. Double steal. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. Wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Second inning here. No score. Not even close there. Now two balls and a strike. Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. No advance. Good job behind the dish. The pitch. There's a strike. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Oh, that was such a great opportunity to oh, grab the lead. You had the infield back. Perfect All you've got to do is just put the ball in play on the ground and you drive across a run. It's a frustrating outcome for the hitter. Now, I'll still have a chance, but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs. And now it's Alec Bohm. Foul ball there. Next offering is foul back. Castellanos, the runner at third, stop on at second with two down. And a swing and a miss down on strikes, and that is that. Top half of the third inning, here's Luis Arias. Leading off for the Brewers, the second baseman, Luis Urias. The pitch. In for a strike, and that is strike one. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. That one is absolutely belted way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Luis Urias goes deep. His second of the year, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. That slider on the outside part of the plate is typically hit the other way. But to be able to get to it, pull the baseball, and get it up in the air for a home run, I'm just really impressed. Now it's Jace Peterson. The third baseman, Jace Peterson. That one ripped right center field. Banks off the wall. And nice work to hold him to a single. Got it back in fast. Well, a swing like that, that can help you come out of the struggle. Field. We saw the Number numbers eight. coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So digging in, number eight. Step off. Oh, he jumped early. Save! And a foul ball. Rudder at first with no outs here. Trying to move him over here. Goes to second for one. And he'll eat it and be happy with the out. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. Now here is Christian Yelich. He's over one. Base knock right for you. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Now batting. The designated Sal Fraley digs Sal in now. Fraley. In there, and it's on one. Yeah, the right hander deals. Number eight, the lead runner at second. Number 22, over at first, with one away. 
Next offering is in for a strike. And he deals. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. And they stop him at third. So base is loaded with one away. Back to back base hits. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Ground ball left side could be two. To second, there's one, and that's two. But the Brewers add one with a solo shot. It's now a one nothing ball game. Back here at the ballpark, set for the bottom of the third, here's Bryce Harper. Leading up for the and a pitch. The right fielder. Swing and a miss. Harper. And a pitch. That one's in there. 0-2 oh, now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle now Charlie, and you can you. see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. And he'll one. Good eye right there. 1-1 one, one now. And yeah, that's outside. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. One down, base is empty. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Gets to it, on to first. Schwarber beats it to the bag and reaches on the strikeout. Well, kind of the story of their season so far. Things just not clicking into place. Fundamentals on all sides of the ball are lacking and it's tough to win games at this level if you're not playing clean baseball as a team. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Dominating strikeout there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do. He's hitting the spots, filling up the strike zone. Sometimes he bats over before it really begins. Stepping in, Brandon Marsh. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Looked like it was a little bit up. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Late with the swing there. That's a really big swing right there. He's got to remember, with this speed, a walk or a single can turn into extra bases by stealing a base or two. And a pitch. And now it's filled up. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Next offering is foul back. 3-2. Swing and a ball popped up. And the inning is over. Philly strand one. They trail here. one nothing. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's the Brewers catcher now. William Contreras. The catcher. William Contreras. A wind in the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And that one hammered. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Well, I think the wind ended up being a factor right there. It's whipping in from right field right now. So otherwise, I think that ball's out of here. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Out there to center. Marsh settles under this one. Pulls it in two away. Now Willie batting. Adamas stands Flip in. Up. Willie Adamas. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit.
Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Now Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that Louise. ball back up the middle. Oh, really? Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. So two down. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Urias. Pitch misses inside, and it's one to no. Right hander kicks deals. That one misses, and the count is two and oh. On the ground to third. Boom. Picks it up. High throw to first, and he can't reach it. Adamas caught in between, trying for third now. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Milwaukee lead. Back at Citizens Bank Park. Ready to go. Bottom four. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. And there's the strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Going two now. Went too far that time. It's one and two. The wind of the pitch. Castellano swings and lifts a high fly ball. Deep left field. Hits the fence. Into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. Now it's going to be Jairo Munoz. And it's fouled away. Swung on, belted. Way back there. And out of here. Flexes his power with that swing, his first homer of the year, and that gives him a lead. It's 2-1. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit below wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. Next offering is in for a strike. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. Stays alive. Popped up. Puts the squeeze on it. And there's one away. Now so the batting order turns over. Base. And here's the Phillies leadoff man, Gene Segura. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. He swings and fouls one off. Still only one out here in the inning. Next pitch misses way outside. There's a strike. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. In the air out to center, number eight, moving under it. And there's two down. Yeah. Up next to Philadelphia. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. Alex. One for two. Boom. And he swings and misses at the. Ready now for the fifth inning. Up now for Milwaukee, Jace Peterson. Milwaukee, the third baseman, Jace Peterson. Cindergaard back to work. And there's a foul ball.
That one pushed foul. Left hand hitter waits. That one missed. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Now batting. Number eight. No outs. Runner at first. And stepping in is the speedy number eight. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. Throw. Tag. Pow. A bullet from JT Real Muto. Here's your one. Line drive. Caught. The left fielder, number 22, Christian Yelich. So the lineup flips over. Christian Yelich. Up now for the Brewers. Swing and a ball hammered left field back there. Can't get there and now maybe extra bases. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Man in scoring position with two away. And next is the designated hitter, Sal Fralick. Line drive, and that's a base hit. The run comes in to score from second. It's 2-2. Two, two. two consecutive base hits for these guys the here. I could watch base hits like that one all day Please. long, and oh, so speed. could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Reese Hoskins up now for the Brewers. In there for strike one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Kick Sandias. Run around the goal. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Next pitch just misses. Going to count one and two. So now one and two to Reese. Foul ball. And here it comes. Rudder goes again. Swing and a miss. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. The catcher, William Contreras. First and second, two outs. Next to hit, William Contreras. He is a talented player. His big brother, Wilson, has voiced that his little brother may end up being better than he is. And first offering is fouled off. Wings through that one for strike two. Well, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece.